Our guest today loves her MacBook but prefers Android to iOS. Back in the spring, she wrote about Microsoft Surface Pro 3, of which she said the third time is almost a charm. Joining us today with our hands-on review of the newly announced Surface Book is Nat Guerin, commissioning editor at The Next Web. Welcome, Nat. Hi. So in your review, you said the Surface Book is the first time a Windows device truly wowed you. Uh, tell us what's so impressive about this new laptop. Well, you know, I haven't used a Windows device since probably, you know, like 2006. So it's been a while and I've attended many Windows events and I just haven't really found it to be something for the everyday user. I think it's very powerful for someone who works in business, who is using the Microsoft productivity tools all the time. But a lot of us don't do that. So I think for the first time, the Surface Book is something that's really um, friendly to people who are using it casually, to students, to business um, professionals. And I think it's something that Microsoft really just stepped up the game this time. Um, you know, uh, it comes with this flexibility of using it as a tablet or um, as a full size laptop. And um, if you keep it connected and use it as a canvas mode, you can draw on it and it has just that much more power when you keep it connected. It's just something that's really truly impressed me for the first time since, you know, I've used the service. I like it, but I just haven't found it to be quite for me or enough for me to drop my MacBook yet. And this is something that I might truly consider in, especially when you consider that Windows 10 now has a bunch of these great, um, tools like Cortana and the new Microsoft Edge browser and Continuum and all these things that are, you know, really making Windows something else and really stepping it up and innovating and competing with the likes of Apple and all that. Well, for from a looks perspective, the thing that really sets it apart from the MacBook when it's connected is that uh, is that hinge. It's it sort of curves like a scorpion tail. Um, mm -hmm. From when you were looking at it and playing with it, uh, does it look like something could get stuck in there? That that's what it looks like to me. It, uh, it does, but you know, I don't think it, more stuff would be stuck in it than my regular MacBook. You know, my MacBook has a regular hinge with the little um, slot in the middle, and I you know get somewhat some dust in there when I'm traveling with it. And I don't think that anyone would get a different amount with that hinge. You know, if you keep your um, gadgets clean enough, keep it clean, wipe it down every now and then, I don't really see that being a much bigger problem than any other kind of laptop design out there. So you said, you said the screen detaches to become a tablet. Um, how easy is it to detach it? There's a button that you have to push. Um, there's a really tiny button, kind of like an eject button that you hold and it, it turns green. And then when it's green, you can just pull it apart which I think is great. And, you know, some people um, might be used to the Surface Pro where you can just kind of pull apart the type cover from the keyboard. And I think it's a lot better and more secure that the Surface Book has that button. So, you know, if you're tossing it around or you're traveling, it doesn't just come apart. So, yeah, it doesn't pull right off, but there's a little button and I think it works great. So it wouldn't just fall off as you were carrying it. It's not that easy to detach. No, it's. Um, I, I find that the Surface Pro cover has a lot of it. You know, you tug it a little bit and it'll come apart, but this one needs a button to pull apart. So it's going to stay secure. So you mentioned that it has an 8 megapixel rear camera without a flash and a 5 meg megapixel front shooter. Would you really envision taking photographs with this? You know, I've never been a, the kind of person to take photos with tablets anyway, but I thought it was interesting because since you can flip the... Um, tablet around and have it kind of in the canvas mode. So, you know, the, the front of the screen is facing you and the back of the screen with the rear shooter is facing away from you. You can live stream that way. You know, you can maybe stream from in front of you and still use Skype and, you know, the camera in front. I don't know that you can use both cameras simultaneously. I haven't tested that out yet, but I think it's kind of interesting because you can then live stream from a laptop and have it kind of sitting and facing it in the opposite direction, you're still using the screen for something else, which I think opens it to a lot more possibilities in terms of camera use. And so what did you think of the Surface Pen? Um, you know, last year, I remember, and I got a lot of heat for this, they're saying that um, the Surface Pen seemed a little silly for $50. But, you know, the more I've used it, the more I realize that it's very powerful. The sensitivity is incredible. I've, you know, been sketching a lot with it. I have a really great time using the paint application and just drawing with it. And using OneNote really does feel as close as writing to paper as the style has come. And um, this year now they've introduced five different colors and new pen tips, which, you know, won't, is not the biggest deal for someone who just kind of wants a stylus. But if someone is really into art or design or 
um, sketches a lot or is an architecture uh, architect and needs that kind of feel, I think that's nice that Microsoft offers that option. It's not going to be for everybody. Is it still fifty dollars the newest Surface Pen? Um, I don't know, but I assume it will be. Um, I haven't double checked that yet. Yeah, I mean, and now that sounds cheap compared to the Apple Pencil at a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and you know there was a lot of. Um, Apple disc going on at the event as well. You know, they said that the new pen now has an eraser mode and they did a little dig at Apple about how their pencil does not have a pencil. So, you know, <laughs> a lot going on today.